When I say who's the master, you say, show no, no, no. So many species in one episode of Young Justice. How can it be contained? What's up, everybody? Showed up the king here. And I want to hear to do my review for Young Justice Season 2, Episode 6. Man, it, this show just keeps getting better and better. You know, every week I... This is the highlight of my Saturday. Let me put it to you like that. Uh, Young Justice so far has been, you know, I'm not going to say it's been flawless because, you know, that's probably me fanboying. You know, there's a couple of little things that I probably had a couple of issues with. But overall, this has been a fantastic, you know, season so far. I know there's a lot of people out there, you know, who want to complain about the five-year jump and who want to complain about all the answers not being given to them within the first two episodes. But you know what? You know, you guys are eating a lot of humble pie right now because every episode they keep stepping it up a bit, stepping it up a bit, giving you a little bit more answers. And that's kind of how a show is. That's how to keep you interested. And, you know, by the end of the season, everything will be answered and we'll be good to go. But anyway, there's a lot of stuff to cover in this fantastic episode. So let's get into it. All right. So the episode starts. There is like some sort of snowy area. It looks like it's some sort of, uh, you know, dirty snow falling from the sky. And you see a young boy working on a uh, machine. You don't really know what the machine is, but, you know, you just see him working on it. And the scene shifts to Tibet, where we have Red Arrow and we have Cheshire. And they're, they're trying to track down Speedy. You know, they've been looking for Speedy for the past five years. And, you know, um, Cheshire needs um, Roy to be a father to their kid. So, you know, she's just like, look. We're going to find Speedy, we're going to get this past you, you are Red Arrow, I'm going to need you to step up and be a dad, blah, blah, blah. So they brought the baby with them, you know, I don't know how, what kind of good parenting that is, but, you know, as long as child services don't find out, you know, I'm not going to make the call, you know, that's cool. All right, so, you know, the scene shifts again, you know, we're, uh, we're meeting up with the uh, team and the uh, Young Justice, I don't know where everybody else was. You know, every episode, you kind of focus on somebody else. So this time we have Beast Boy, we have Robin, and we have Nightwing, and they're in the uh, Young Justice lair. And um, we see a time machine pop up out of the blue, and, you know, it's an unidentified signature. And, you know, a young kid pops out, and he's like a speedster. So we got speedster number one. Number one. So, you know, he's running all over the place, and, you know, they were talking about Impulse. He's like, wow, that's a great name. I think I'm going to call myself Impulse. So, you know, Impulse jumps into the scene, you know, he's a speedster and he's running all over the place and, you know, no one can get their hands on him. So Beast Boy turns into a cheetah. Robin gets after him at the same time. They're chasing him all over the place. He's running to the bathroom and the kitchen. You know, nobody can put their hands on him. But, you know, good old Nightwing, you know, he, he uses his brain and throws some little pellets on the ground. And, you know, he Impulse runs on the side of the wall and steps down. And then Nightwing's just right there and he just catches him one good time in the chest. Impulse is out, you know, they tie him up, you know, start asking him questions, you know, he's, of course, he's being evasive, he doesn't want to, he tells him that he, he's not being evasive, he tells him from he's from the future, and that he's just here to see, you know, the original Flash, and just wants to, before he gets old, that's what he says, before he gets old. So what ends up happening is, you know, of course, um, Impulse escapes, he uh, shimmers or phases through the handcuffs and runs off to go see the Flash, and, um, what, uh, what, what Nightwing does is he places a call to Kid Flash to for some help. So, you know, by the time Kid Flash gets there, Impulse is already there. And um, the original Flash is at the Grandpa Flash's 70th year anniversary. So at this point, we have Kid Flash, we have Impulse, we have regular Flash, and we have, I'm going to call him Grandpa Flash. So they're all there, you know, they're all talking, you know. Impulse is just like, you know, hey, I'm your... I'm your grandson, you know, I just wanted to come and see you, da, 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 da. He basically tells them that, you know, you're going to have two kids. One's going to be my dad, the other's going to be my aunt, you know. She's basically, like, spilling all the beans. So, you know, and he's talking in this crazy, like, future language. He's talking about Crash and all this other type of nonsense. I really hope kids nowadays don't start walking around saying that shit because it's not cool, just to let you know. Public service announcement. Anyway, so... Uh, what ends up happening is there's a villain that's destroying the city and he's calling for Flash. He wants Flash's blood and, you know, what Flash, of course, he's like, I'll be back in Flash. So he runs out and he's going to go stop him. And, you know, of course, Impulse is there for a reason. He's not here just to visit. So at this point, I'm already thinking, I'm like, 
if he's coming back from the future, he must be trying to prevent Flag from dying. So I'm like, just the way he was talking, we all knew it. It wasn't like it was a secret. So I'm like, he must have, this must have been a pivotal moment in the Flash's life where he dies and Impulse is trying to stop it. So that's why he's back. And that's what I was thinking at this point. And of course, I was right. So of course, they get there. And the, um, the guy, he's like in this like Lex Luthor suit. And, you know, he has like these pulses just going out like every couple of seconds. And he's shooting these beams. And, you know, Flash can't get in. He can't get in. You know, the, the time that he's using this is, is not working. So, you know, they all come up with a plan to do some sort of crazy vortex. And, you know, Kid Flash shows up and they're all running around in circles. And uh, Kid Flash can't keep up with Impulse or the original Flash. And it's kind of pissing them off. Even to the point where the guy like explodes and it's almost like a nuclear explosion. Impulse and the regular Flash have to carry Kid Flash away from the explosion because he's not fast enough to get away from it. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's, it really is. So then, you know, the guy's body starts to form back. So he's getting ready. This time he's not without a suit. So, and then before I continue, at the time, the guy that was exploding, I can't remember his name right now, but I'm pretty sure somebody will tell me in the comments. So uh, he uh, was being controlled. And the people that were controlling him were basically doing the test. And the test they were running, and it's the way that they were talking, it sounded like they were from the future as well, because they were using that same, you know, breaking the crash and all this other stuff they were talking about. So to me, the only people that talked like that was, you know, Impulse, and he's from the future. So I don't think the guys that were con controlling him were from the present. That's just my thought. You know, you guys can let me know what you think. So anyway, what ends up happening is, is that um, Flash just says, before he explodes again, I'm going to grab him and uh, run at light speed and get him to the desert. So he starts to run and do that. And, you know, Impulse is running next to him and trips him up on purpose, and he stops him from exploding. And what ends up happening is, is that Grandpa Flash comes in and grabs them both and gets them out of, out of there in safety. So, and then what ends up happening is, is that Impulse runs back in, gives him this, like, blue ball, and it fixes the guy, and he's back to normal. So that kind of ended that whole situation there. Then we go back to Tibet. And in Tibet, we have Red Arrow and Cheshire, and they're basically fighting their way through all these henchmen to get to the bottom of this lair, and the baby's laughing all the way, and there was this little line, and he's like, you don't find it disturbing that our daughter is finding so much pleasure in this violence? And, you know, Cheshire turns to him like, hey, it must be in his genes. So, you know, I thought that was kind of cool, too. But overall, this episode was pretty good. You know, it was a solid episode. I love seeing The Flash come back. I love seeing Kid Flash, even seeing Impulse and then Grandpa Flash. All of those flashes, all these speedsters in one episode was just awesome. And, you know, what ends up happening is on the other side is that uh, Red Arrow ends up finding Speedy, of course, in this little cryogenic freezing tube. We'll probably figure out what happens with that next episode. But, you know, overall, you know, what ends up happening with Impulse is, is he's stuck in the past now. But then at the end of the episode, you figure out he already knew he was going to get, you know, he's already knew he was going to get stuck in the past because that was his mission. His mission was to go back and prevent Flash from dying and to uh, stop the other guy from exploding, you know, heal him. So the future didn't change, though. So we're going to find out again. Maybe there's, these are going to be like sideways running storylines. Maybe, it, maybe it's intertwined in the invasion storyline. We don't know yet. Overall, I'm going to give this episode a four out of five. I really enjoyed it. Um, but I want to know what you guys think. I want to hear you comment in the section below. You know, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, see you next week.